What's up, everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob doing the Michter's Toasted Barrel Rye. This is a barrel proof, 53.6%. Low entry proof, like Michter's always practices. This is the second edition of the Toasted Barrel Rye, which means that it's been aged in two separate virgin oak barrels. The one in between this, so the edition that was sent out in 2018, it was just a straight barrel proof rye. So, toasted barrel rye, one of my favorite whiskeys. If you follow my videos, you know that I really, really like the 2017 Michter's Toasted Barrel Rye. Gonna nose this one, taste it, and give it a mark. So, right off the hop, you definitely get those rye spices. Some nice baking spice in there as well. Kind of like a charred marshmallow kind of note in there. And maybe a small hint of like Elmer's glue. That's gotta be coming from the extra barrel. Or the heavy char on one of the barrels. So again, 53.6%. I have seen versions of this, of the 2020, that are 53 on the dot. So I guess they all change a little bit. Depending on which cast they came from. On the palette. So it's got some heat, but nothing overbearing. Beautiful rye spices come through. Nice sweetness. Plays into that uh, burnt marshmallow that I was telling you guys about earlier. Really, really nice. A little bit of barrel char in there as well. Getting some like nice, um, almost like a grassy, sweet grassy note or like a hay kind of note on the nose. Kind of paints the picture of the fall kind of weather, roasting marshmallows outside in a barn-like setting. That's kind of what I'm getting from the nose, the palate, the combination. This one you can definitely drink outside and really uh, bring out the autumn weather. I'm going to add a drop of water and see if anything changes. Maybe the sweetness will be amped up a little bit. already notice a difference on the nose so much more marshmallow forward actually a lot sweeter a lot less rye spice this is probably like pretty close to a barely legal rye I would say it's 51 52 percent rye exactly maybe a touch more than that but not much So that water really brings out the sweetness here. A lot more brown sugars and roasted marshmallows. Really love the rye spices coming from this whiskey. You guys know I'm a big fan of rye. Really like this stuff. Big fan of Michter's as well. This one's got to be a 90 for me. I really like it. Great stuff to have on your bar. Hard to get now. Secondary is already going crazy. I've seen prices as high as 400 bucks for this. A little bit insane, but if you can get it for retail, it's definitely worth it at about 120 to 150 bucks, depending on where you're buying it. Probably less in the US, looking at like 90 to $100. Really good stuff. Like I said, that's a 90. 
All right, that's it for me, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like the video, you can hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the bell to get notifications when I do release a video. Check out my boy, Gascoin, who's been recording these videos, editing them, making them way better than they've ever been on this channel before. Uh, you guys can also check out our podcast, The Whiskey Rant. All right, and I'm wearing a shirt from a cool company called Into The AM from Southern California. Um, if you really like this shirt, I'll leave a 10% promo code in the description below. Honestly, I really like them. The quality of these shirts are awesome. They fit really, really well. You could tell that it's just good quality. All kinds of different graphic designs, but they have some plain regular tees as well. And I would imagine if they fit as nicely as this one does, then you're gonna love them as much as I do. Like I said, 10% discount code below. It's into the AM forward slash Sixer Crew, but I'll leave it below here and as well in the description. Thanks for watching guys, really appreciate it. Cheers.